This device is the Mackie Micro Series 1202 VLZ. It's a 12 channel microphone and line mixer which has uh, four principal channels, principal mono channels, each of which has uh, an XLR input and is capable of having phantom power, 48 volt phantom power. That's switchable globally, so if you switch on the switch at the back, it will switch on phantom power to all four microphone sockets. Each channel also has a balanced or unbalanced line input, and these are true differential line inputs, uh, so you can play games with them if you want to do things like mid and side uh, uh, matrixing. Each of the principal channels has a low cut 75 hertz uh, filter, 18.5 dBs per octave, 18 dBs per octave it says, um, and each channel has a trim control, quite a wide ranging trim control, which is operated operational both on the microphone input and on the line input. Each of these channels, including some of the stereo channels, which I'll talk about in a moment, uh, have auxiliary sends 1 and 2. Number 2 is a dedicated post-fade send for effects such as reverb. Uh, number 1 uh, can be either pre or post-fade and that's set through this uh, switch here and there's a global master control uh, for sending uh, out to auxiliary one. Auxiliary one is uh, on the back. We'll see that in a minute. Um, sorry, ex auxiliary one is up here. And this sends one and two. Um, and again, it says balanced, unbalanced. These are um, resistively balanced, they're not necessarily uh, true balanced differential outputs. The main outputs at the back, uh, which are replicated versions of these here, which we're using to take this uh, signal out for a recorder so that I can put it on this video. Um, the, true out the, two, the true balanced outputs on the back are on XLR sockets. So you've got four principal input channels, you've got uh, four stereo channels here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's how they get the 1202. It's O because there are no uh, buses. Uh, it's not made for that sort of uh, work. And the 2 simply meaning it's a stereo output. However, uh, that's supplemented by the fact that there is an all, there's a secondary output, an alternative output, which they call Alt 3, 4, instead of the main 1, 2 and we'll see that on the back in a moment. The function uh, of this mute button is such that when you press it down it will steer output, not only mute it and stop it going into the left-right bus but it will also route it into this alternative 3-4 bus. So you have the option to do some form of limited four-channel operation. And each of the uh, each of the buses can be soloed as a pre-fade listen there. Now what we're listening to at the moment is the output on the main outputs. Uh, well, you're, you're listening to anyway on the, uh, on the recorder that's listening to here. So you won't have heard the effects of that solo. But I've got uh, some headphones in and you will definitely notice the solo coming in there. Phones are quite useful uh, here. There's uh, phones and control room outputs. Uh, the phone's output obviously here, control room outputs on the back, um, and they can be switched between the main mix, which is the left right, but also can pick up the alternative 3 4 uh, or any uh, or a tape return which can come back here uh, on the RCA phono sockets. The inputs uh, on these channels here are uh, balanced inputs. The stereo auxiliary returns come back um, so if you've got stereo reverb or delays or such like you can come back into there and here's your returns which will nominally return to the left right bus but you can also switch them into the monitor if um, that's what you want to do so you might want to put some reverb into a a Q channel for an, for a uh, 
for an artist uh, playing or singing. Okay, so here's the rear of the device. Uh, you just hear the sound from the camera microphone at the moment because I've disconnected the, uh, the other microphone and uh, recorder. So, power input, standard IEC uh, mains cable. This particular device is for 240, 230 volts operation only. Uh, mains power. So the nice thing is there's an internal mains power supply here. There's no external uh, no external transformer. Phantom power globally switched on this switch here, which I've got on because we were uh, working with a condenser microphone. These outputs uh, are the principal outputs of the system. They're a copy of what went on at the top there, uh, but these are true balanced outputs, so true differential balanced outputs. And you could switch the level between plus four VU, which is um, standard high level, uh, line level for putting into PA systems or a mic level if you're sending these to some form of direct inject uh, device into your uh, another mixer so if this is being used as a sub mix. Uh, then you've got the control room outputs which are, again are a, a replication of what came out on the headphone socket there and here's the alternative output the uh, left and right three and four uh, which could be used, as I say, as a completely separate feed pair for some reason. And finally, we've got channel inserts on each of the four principal mono channels. So you can break in and out. You could even go out to a tape recorder and back again if you were doing four channel audio recording. So it's quite a versatile desk, this. Um, it's a kind of uh, Swiss Army knife type thing that an audio engineer could carry around and to sort out a load of problems. You can imagine using it for um, imagine using it for uh, small-scale broadcast operations. Um, you could use it for AV work, um, any, any number of things. These days, an awful lot of stuff is done in the box in, in your computer, and so you don't need such a sophisticated outside uh, um, mixer. But this uh, is a useful device that will, will act to, uh, to give you inputs ready for your sound card and, uh, and if you don't have a computer with you, it can, say, can solve a lot of, uh, lot of on-site problems. So that is the Mackie Micro Series 1202 VLZ 12-channel mic and line mixer.